my channel, you are watching my Mermaid series where I am sketching a new mermaid every day in the month of May, uh, filming it and uploading it on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, um, the way that I am approaching this project, if you haven't seen any other videos, is that I am focusing on using different patterns to fill in the tails of the mermaids. Um, for these daily challenges. So I have a prompt list of 31 different patterns and I'm just working my way down that list. And today's uh, prompt was leopard print. And um, leopard print is something I feel really comfortable doing. I kind of developed my own method for doing it um, years and years ago. And I draw it a lot um, just as like a background, as a filler, like on, um, the clothing of like my, uh, characters that I design, um, I've even done it like in nail polish, like I draw leopard print all the time. So I felt pretty comfortable with today's challenge. Um, so, um, I think the drawing turned out pretty well and it came together pretty quickly as well. Uh, which is kind of a good thing because I was actually in a little bit of a rush this morning, unfortunately. Um, I am getting ready to travel out of town. Uh, for the weekend and I still have to pack and get everything put together and packing as an artist um, at least for me anyway is a challenge because it's not only just like oh clothes and toothbrush and stuff like that it's also okay pack all your art stuff because I still have to do my daily drawings on the road so um, yeah thank goodness we are driving so I have room in the car for everything but it's um, it's definitely uh, makes things a little bit more interesting, uh, having to kind of pack up art supplies as well. But um, yeah, so this drawing uh, came together pretty quickly. Um, I didn't really struggle with the anatomy today like I have the past couple of days. Um, I wanted to do a more like a vertical pose, a little bit more upright. Um, so I drew the tail kind of first and then I decided to just kind of put her hand on her hip and, uh, kind of just leave it there. I didn't really go back and erase or like try to change anything. Um, unlike some of my previous, uh, mermaids that I've done, I really, really struggled and today wasn't a struggle. So I'm really happy for that. And let's see, um, I wanted to go with a non-traditional color for the tail for the leopard print um i just thought doing like the tan and like beige and browns and things was just going to be a little too boring and um i decided just to spice it up with using like sort of a blue to green um analogous color scheme so um i originally thought pink but i realized that i did pink yesterday so i was like oh, i should change that up a little bit um it might have been interesting to do this, though, in a sh like shades of green, but it might have been a little bit more mermaidy. Like, it might have red as scales and not leopard print. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I feel like every time I draw one of these mermaids, I kind of want to do it again just to see uh, if I could have done it differently or done it better or, I don't know, just change it up. Because when you're working on specific prompts, it's like, there's so many different ways to go with it, which is the exciting part of doing it with a prompt, but it's also sort of the nerve wracking thing because there's so many options and it's just like, did I choose the right one? And, um, you can get pretty, uh, swept up in a rabbit hole of like anxiousness about it. If you allow yourself to do that for the most part, I try to, um, <clears throat> just draw it and leave it on the page and just kind of walk away and like, let it stand for itself and just try not to overthink things but I don't know the temptation is there so but uh, if you're still listening and watching uh, I just want to say thank you so much for sticking around I really appreciate your support if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this you can subscribe to my channel I'll be posting new videos uh, all month long so you can definitely check those out. And um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, leave any comments if you have questions or if there's anything that you want to chat about, I'd be happy to 
get back to you. So, um, until my next video. Thanks for watching.